it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Bros Talking Sports. We got special, special guest, Makai, a.k.a. Kingston in the house. You already know, whenever you see Kingston, you already know we're about to talk some Vikings. Okay, y'all? Make sure you subscribe on Bros Talking Sports, and let's get it. Okay, what's up, Kingston? What up? All right, man, we are here today. As you guys know, did your Vikings do that thing today? Yes, they, they did. Yes, they did. That's right. They played the Atlanta Falcons. And you know what? The Falcons fell to four and five on the year. And you how I'm gonna let Kingston just start it off a little bit about how he feels about the Vikings taking this win today. So I feel pretty good. They they are in a four four straight win lead. That's right. And so with their new QB since Kirk Cousins got hurt. Oh, yes, he did. His he, Achilles. Uh, Vikings new new QB, Joshua Dobbs from the Arizona Cardinals. Yep, just traded him. Mm -hmm. Showed out today. And new new news, Justin Jefferson is coming back next week. Wow, breaking news on Bros Talking Sports, you guys. Jay Jetty, you already know, okay? He's back next week. Breaking news by Kingston. Go ahead, brother. With his ham hamstring injury, the Vikings won 31-28. to In the first quarter, Vikings got three, and the Falcons got three also. In the Ooh, second battle. Vikings got seven, and the Falcons got eight. In the third, Vikings got 11, and Falcons got 10. In the Ooh. fourth, Vikings got 10, and Falcons got seven. And in the end, 31 to 28. That was the game changer right there. Exactly. In the fourth quarter, the Vikings outscored the Falcons 10 to seven. They won by three, and that's the game changer right there. Wow. Breaking news, JJD coming back next week. You guys, I have to tell you, as you guys know, before the game, I did pick the Minnesota Vikings. That's right. I knew, as Kingston said, Josh Dobbs coming in from Arizona, he was going to do his thing. You remember, he is the first quarterback to come over from another team to get a game-winning drive. Mm -hmm. That was epic. Josh Dobbs. Okay. Vikings stand up. What was the tight end doing? Uh, the tight end for the Vikings, he was showing up and showing out. What was he doing today? TJ Hawkinson got, got 69 yards and zero TDs, but Joshua Dobbs got 66 yards and one TD. That's right. Listen, Hawkinson's... Uh, the yards that he got, it might sound a little bit slim, but they were a big 69 yards, okay, you guys? And Dobbs running the ball was also huge for the Vikings today. What I saw, the Falcons, they looked like they were going to win, and then the Vikings looked like they were going to win, and they just kept battling back and forth. Mm -hmm. Wow, it was so epic. Uh, Vikings got the ball back late, and then the rest is history. Yep. Dobbs did his thing. He was showing out. You know – uh uh, Addison, rookie Addison was doing mm -hmm. his thing today, too. He had uh, five catches for 52 yards. All right, we'll take that. But, yeah, uh, everything, rather than said than done, the Vikings, they they go to five and four on the season, and they're looking really good for they next are. week, for J.J. coming back. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm excited to see what the Vikings – um, have in store, you do know, you know, the Vikings are, uh, let's just say this, in the same division as my Detroit Lions, who is in first place right now. Okay, so we will see uh, what's going on. The Vikings right now are two games behind uh, Detroit. Actually, one game now. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, that was epic. Your Vikings came to play. Man, that's what's up, man. A uh, hey, side note real quick. Seattle Seahawks. Today, they lost to the Baltimore Ravens 37-3. to Geno Smith, yes, I thought he was going to come out, show See? up, and show out. But he did not today, okay? The Ravens were all over Seattle. They could not really get it done. Even though Seattle had a chance kind of in the end a little bit to try to get the win, just couldn't pull it out. 
49ers, they go back up into first place in the division. How do you feel about that? Do you think that Seattle possibly could get back into first place in the next few weeks? I think, me personally, I am a Seattle Seahawks fan, but I'm trying to think realistically. I think they aren't, but they're going to come really close. Talk that talk. All right, I like that, Sonny. I like that, okay? That's epic. Listen, uh, we will see what happens going forward. Next week, week 10, NFL, make sure you tune in. Kingston might be in the house, okay, talking these Vikings again. And uh, Jay Jetty, he, you know he come back, he's going to have a big game, okay? Mm-hmm. You know, what, what dance is he going to do? You know, he's going to got something new coming out. He got, ah, yeah, you already know. You already know what he got coming out, okay, okay? Look out for the Vikings this week coming up. All right, the Detroit Lions are back, so we will see what happens. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, real quick, let's see who the Vikings play next week. They play the Saints. Okay, okay. that's a good that, – that could possibly be a winner. The Saints did just squeak out a win today, but uh, that's a good little win. Then you got Denver and Chicago. Those should be two wins right there. Mm-hmm. So Vikings, depending, we'll see what happens, but it's an early season. Going into week 10 next week. And uh, until next time, subscribe on Bros Talking Sports. We out. Peace. Peace. Oh, let's show the – let's uh, hit our handshake one time on it. Uh, uh. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> oh, what's up, what's up? Mm. Mm, you already know. Oh, then we do a little spin uh, uh, between the legs. Uh, you know what I mean? But, yeah. All right, we out. <laughs> That's what's up.